story about two brothers. These two brothers, they live in Chicago. And Alhamdulillah, I went over to Chicago a number of years ago, about two years ago now, two or three years ago, number one. And I remember sitting in this room with these two brothers. And they would never make salam to each other. Never ever make salam to each other. And I used to wonder like, guys, how do you do this? And I'd crack jokes between both of them. I'd pick on him and I'd pick on him as well. And he'd just smile when his brother's getting came. And the other one would be like, yeah, as well. And they would never actually communicate with each other. Little did any of these guys know that a day would come in their lives where they would regret this. On one, on one night, the older brother, he takes a, a motorbike, a moped, and he drives downtown, to downtown Chicago to work. On his way home at night, he's driving up Lakeshore Drive, which is a very beautiful uh, kind of a bridge road where you can see the whole of Chicago, all the skylines and everything. It's a very beautiful place. He's driving back to where he lives in Chicago and he's coming up Lakeshore Drive. And as he's driving, he hits a pothole. His bike loses control and he's flung 20 feet into the air. When he lands, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. He dies from the impact. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he give my brother Abdul Ahad a lofty place in Jannah, insha'Allah. Very beautiful brother, and wallah, every time I remember the story, it pains my heart. Because I remember the beautiful smile that Abdullah had used to have. And there are people in this gathering today who know Abdul, who knew Abdullah had, including Mufti Sab, who will be here in a little while, inshallah, who know these people personally. I met these guys just that once in Ramadan, and wallahi, they were such beautiful people. They left an amazing mark on myself. So I tell you this story, and I narrate this story to you because I know these people, and I can tell you, and I can vouch. Abdullah had was a brother, he would come into the masjid with a box of miswak and he would give it to a little kid at the door and he would say to him, go around and give a miswak to everyone, don't, don't tell them who it's from. Just go around and give everybody a miswak. So everybody would be acting upon a sunnah and who would be getting the reward? Abdullah had. Beautiful brother. So what happens? Abdullah had passes away and his younger brother, remember these guys have never spoken in their lives, right? They just didn't get on. The day of the janazah, the day of the janazah, Abdullah Ahad is being buried. And his younger brother, Talha, he goes to the graveside of his brother. And after they've buried him and they put him down, he sits down on the floor. And he begins to cry. And he cries so much. He cries so much that the family are asking him now, look, everything is done, Talha, we need to go home. Talha's not listening. Another sheikh, from the locality goes and he asks him, please, Talha, we need to go home now. Talha says, leave me alone. Until it becomes so stubborn that the family then requests Mufti Hussein to go in and speak to him. So Mufti Hussein goes up to him and he sits next to him and says, Talha, we need to leave. And Talha looks at Mufti Sam and his, his face is wet from the tears. He looks at Mufti Sahib and he says, Mufti Sahib, please let me stay here. I just want to spend time with Ahad because I never spent any time when he was alive. I want to spend time with him. The Mufti Sahib put his arm around Talha and he said, Talha, come on, we need to go. And then Talha said to him, Mufti Sahib, please, I want to hug him. Just one hug. That's all I'm asking for. This is why I say to you, subhanAllah, a day will come in our lives, wallahi, when we will regret the ni'mah that Allah gave us. Man is so stupid. Man is so silly. Man is such an idiot. Man does not want to change. Man does not want to take a lesson from these things. Right? I remember this story, wallahi, and it brings tears to my eyes. A day come in my life. Imagine I died, or one of my brothers died. You know, When's the last time I told my brother that I loved him? When's the last time you went home and you told your brother or your sister that you loved them? So I ask you this question, as a brother, when's the last time you showed some love to your own brother? Wallahi, a day will come in your life where you will cry like the way Talha was crying for Ahad. But that chance will never come back again. So take this as an opportunity.